Welcome, Geminis. This is going to be your October 2019 general messages, okay? So these are for um, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, Geminis, all right? So if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. There's so much more to come, okay? So much more to reveal um, to you guys more insight and clarity and guidance if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the empress the information will be in the video as well as in the drop box below okay keep in mind that these messages are general they may or may not resonate with you and they can also be vice versa so this could be your energy that's being felt or your partner's energy okay so let's take a look this is for the sign sun moon rising venus of Gemini for the month of October. What messages are there for Gemini's for the month of October? All right, so I'm picking up on the number eight, okay? So some of you guys <clears throat> could be seeing a number 888. Now, when you see the number 888, okay, there's abundance possibly coming your way. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. It could just be an abundance, okay? Good luck, good fortune. All right, so I'm going to shuffle eight times, okay? I'm going to shuffle eight times for you guys. Let's see. One, two, three. And eighty. All right. So this is for Gemini's. All right. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Pentacles. All right. So the Four of Pentacles is someone clinging on to something really, really, really tight. Okay. He has his pentacles here, and he's holding on to them. He doesn't want to share them. <clears throat> He is holding on to them, okay? All right, so I'm picking up on a Leo, Leo's energy. We got the, we have the strength card as well as the queen of wands and the five of swords, okay? So let's see, queen of pentacles and the nine of wands and the king of cups. Lots of um, people here, someone spying. You're watching someone. You're keeping an eye on someone. It's kind of like borderline stalking. But you're doing it because you care. Um, because we have the King of Cups here. Yeah. <clears throat> there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. But Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But we have the Spy card here, which is the Page of Swords as well as the nine of wands, okay? So this is definitely like stalking energy, okay? So you have gotten tired of doing, putting in some type of effort. Oh yeah, so you're watching because you know this person is sneaky. Here with this seven of swords, okay? So you're waiting for some type of arrival or something involving some family get together or um, with the four of wands here. Maybe you're waiting to come together or re reunite with this person. So you you're hold you're waiting to express how you feel. Um, maybe this person feels like you always have something to say because we got the page of pentacles as well as the ten of wands, and they're feeling like you know you're kind of getting on their nerves. The ten of wands is like burdening. Um, too much responsibility. Someone, someone's feeling burning. We got the Hermit card, which could be a Virgo. Um, so I feel like you are in the hopes and fears. There's communication, so maybe you're hoping that this person it will open up because they can be possibly kind of distant. But I'm picking up on someone's traveling, okay, and revisiting something because we have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So. There's like this on again, off again, or this back and forth kind of thing, okay? Oh, you want to make someone regret making someone feel sad or cry. 
But it's like you want someone to regret something. You're keeping an eye on them because you feel like they're sneaky. Okay. You have been given, you've been putting forth, you've been giving, and you're tired of doing it. And you, oh yeah, you do not trust this person. This person is like sneaky, manipulative, and you're just keeping an eye. For some of you guys, this is involving a marriage, okay? Some, some of you guys, this could be involving a Libra. But you're waiting to balance this situation out. This could be involving family. Okay, because we got the Four of Wands and the Justice card. So maybe you're waiting to balance a situation, a live in a home situation out. Okay. You are feeling, you, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here, you've invested in something and you're wanting to see a fruits of the labor. So you're waiting to see some type of growth. Okay, you're waiting for this person to grow or waiting to see something different from this person. But this person is like feeling like, yeah. You always have something to say. It's <laughs> just what I'm picking up. Okay. Yeah. I've sent, I'm getting the sense of there's a reuniting. Okay. There's a coming together. There's a celebration. There's just like a, a reuniting. Okay. Maybe you're reuniting with this person. Why is the justice card here? For some of you guys, this could be like someone in that works in the court system. Or it has something to do with law. Why is the justice card here? For some of you guys, it does have something to do with the court system or the law. Or you work for um, law enforcement. You're keeping an eye. Maybe you're watching the need, to, feeling the need to watch someone. Because you feel like this person um, is very sneaky or is getting away with being sneaky. Okay. Why is the justice card here? Okay, the Eight of Swords. Some of you are, this is law enforcement. Some of you guys are waiting to capture somebody, put somebody away. This is also like the incarcerated, like somebody is actually like in jail or in prison. Okay, so your intuition is sharp right now, okay? With this King of Swords and this High Priestess, you're trying to find a way to balance this situation now or trying to find out exactly what is going on, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords here? The lover's card. Gemini. <clears throat> Maybe you decided to put something on hold. Okay. And there's a decision that needs to be made. So maybe you're pressing forward with making that decision. Look. Knight of Swords. Okay. Somebody here is irrational. Someone keeps running back and forth. There's this irrational. This is irrational energy that keeps running back and forth. Or there's some childlike energy here. Okay, maybe there could be a child involved. Why is the Nine of Wands here? You got your eye. You're, you're watching. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Fool. You're watching every move that this person makes. You're watching them. You're keeping up. It's like one mistake and you're on the head. <laughs> You are on their ass, Gemini. All right, so let's see how uh, they feel about you. How do they feel about Gemini? We got the four pentacles. They're holding back as well. Or they're trying to save their money. They're having financial issues, okay? And they're trying to save some money here, okay? So let's see. We got the devil card and the six of cups and the two of cups. Someone was in a toxic relationship, okay? Someone has this addiction or some type of um, codependency issues. There could be kids involved because we got the six of cups. So there's like this codependent. Maybe they're codependent upon you. 
Um, we got the Queen of Swords here, which is you guys' energy in the past. But they're trying to make some changes. I feel like they're my, they're trying to make some changes, okay? Yeah, because for some of you guys, this is a like a uh, um I'm picking up on a, a it's either a marriage because we got the Empress card and the Four of Wands here, or this is like a mother uh, and a family thing here. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Someone is codependent. And, um, wow. They're waiting on some type of lie or waiting to see if somebody's going to be sneaky. They feel like you weren't taking any action towards them in the past. And right now, they're wanting to cut any arguing or any bit, bit, bickering back and forth. They're wanting to cut that, okay? Because they feel like things will go better in their favor if they cut out any drama. Their intuition is telling them that they need to tell you what's going on with them, what problems that they're having, or they feel very defeated, okay? Maybe like they let themselves down or let you down. Um, but they want, they're want they wanting to talk to you. And I'm getting with the Empress card here, this could be a mother. Maybe you could be their mother. Maybe you're dealing with a child um, or some of you guys. This person looks at you like you are like very nurturing, um, very, you know, like mother-like energy or very feminine energy. Um, and they are attached to you. I'm getting like an attachment. They're very codependent upon you. Okay. I'm getting the dad energy here too with the emperor. So I'm getting the empress and the emperor for so for some of you this is like a parents. Okay. Maybe you're this person's parents. But it's like ready to get together, okay? Ready to party or ready to um reunite. And then I'm getting like a happy, a happy family thing, a happy get together. Maybe someone, some of you guys are getting together for the holiday or, but I'm sensing like there's some type of get together and there's a second chance. And I have the sun card here, which is the most positive card in the deck. So it's like maybe this get together and this um, coming together is going to be something positive comes out of it. Okay. They want to stop being so guarded, like kind of let their guard down. I feel like that's how they are deciding to switch things up. We got the Queen of Cups here, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So maybe they're wanting you to be more softer or be more compassionate or more understanding towards them. I'm picking up on like maybe they fear... Um, <clears throat> communicating this to you yeah i'm getting like there is like a, a marriage or like a family get together I mean, this is family because we have the four of wands and the ten of pentacles like there's definitely like family get together for um a second time around or you know for the holidays and i'm sensing like there's lots of fun and partying possibly drinking like i'm just getting like there's just like a reuniting okay i don't feel like there's a reuniting they're um watching you as well okay so you guys are watching each other possibly mirroring each each other's behavior okay all right so gemini's in love let's pull some oracle love cards guys let's pull some oracle love cards all right so let's see Maybe things are turning around for you, for you Gemini, because I'm still going to shuffle eight times, okay? Because for some reason, I'm I'm just picking up on the number eight for you guys. So three, four, five, six. Messages for Gemini's in love. 
All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have finances and careers. See, some of you guys are really focused in on your money. And I feel like, yeah, some somebody is codependent upon you, okay? Look, we got codependency and finances and career. I just spoke about somebody being codependent upon you. I feel like you're trying to focus on your money, but someone is like still codependent upon you. That's why I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with a child or a mother is involved. But somebody is like codependent. Okay, we have express your love. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, we have express your love. And then we have unrequited love. And then we have playfulness. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Let's get some clarifiers, all right? So I'm sensing that somebody needs to express how they feel because someone could be feeling as if um, the other party isn't expressive or they don't feel like the chemistry is there. All right, so let's see. Yeah, see, okay. Someone does not want any conflict. Someone doesn't want anyone running, rushing towards them with conflict, okay? Someone here is having regrets about something that they said, and they wish that they could change what they said, okay? So express your love. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. So someone needs to be expressive, or someone has been expressive, um, but there's a need for someone to express their feelings, okay? Um, unrequited love we have the hangman pisces is energy i'm picking up on water energy here as well pisces cancer scorpio but there's like a hold on something because the the shit just isn't balanced it isn't fair okay i'm picking up on playful energy all right we got a hermit which is virgo's energy so maybe a virgo has been expressing their how they feel to you um I feel like here we go with the score of pentacles again. You guys are very, very like holding something very close to you. Um, and someone may feel as if you're selfish or you feel as if this other person is selfish. So someone is deciding to put a hold on things because the situation isn't balanced. Someone is giving more than they're receiving, okay? And intuitively, <coughs> intuitively i feel like some of you guys are going to be standing your ground towards this person maybe you feel like this person is just doesn't is, is just playing a lot okay because i'm sensing that your guard is up towards this person okay they've been expressing how they feel and then it's like with the nine of wands your guard is possibly like up okay yeah look you're tired of this okay with the four of swords you are possibly are being selfish okay maybe you are putting yourself First, and deciding to put this situation or this person on hold because it's imbalanced, okay? Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn's energy. But I feel like your intuition is telling you that this person is going to drag their feet. It's like you feel like this person is just acts like they have all day to get something done. Maybe you feel like they're too comfortable or they're lazy here with this Four of Swords. You're waiting for them to make some type of effort or some type of move, and you feel like they're getting too comfortable. You feel like they're playing around too much, and your intuition is telling you that they're just they're dragging their feet. Yeah. Could be an Aquarius involved, but you guys are hoping that this person picks up the pace, okay? You're tired of hearing the lies. You're just tired of it. Why is the seven of swords here? <laughs> You're hoping that this person gets their shit together. Because we have the nine of pentacles. You want them to be independent. You want them to focus on themselves and get themselves together. Okay, so this is a hope and a wish fulfillment. You've been praying for this. This is something that you want. But you feel like this person drags their feet and they're playing too much. Why is the seven of swords here?
You want stability from this person or you want some type of commitment, a real commitment. You want this person to make a real commitment. You want them to put forth the effort, okay? You want them to real, really, really go full throttle, like, really. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah? You want them to take action, okay? We got Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. We have all these big, huge energies that are known for, like, this King of Swords and the Emperor. We know that he's about taking control, and he's not, you know, putting up with any BS. This Queen of Pentacles, this is three different people with three different energies, okay? But they're all leading back to taking control, okay? Being in control. It's like make up your mind because we have the magician and the seven of cups. You're wanting someone to make up their mind. You wanting someone to take something serious and take control, okay? You're waiting for them to take action. All right, Gemini. So if this message resonated with you guys, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in that comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading, information is below as well as in the video, okay? So until next time, Gemini's. Mm, ciao for now.